Here we have a 1974 Honda XR75. Got it on Craigslist for 200 bucks, not running. Put a new carby on it because uh, the one that I had on it had a jet in it that was way too big. It was, it was running like total garbage once I had cleaned it out. So I, um, I uh, figured instead of getting a new jet, I just got a whole new carburetor. Works pretty good. Got a new air filter because the other one was foam and after going on 40 years it's, it's all decroated and terrible but you feel line onto it this tank here is a plastic tank aftermarket it doesn't leak or anything that's good so I put a uh, an inline filter not in my filter but inline pet cock on there that's in the off position right now I put a new plug in it uh, and I adjusted the points which is very easy on these bikes you just pull off that cover with those two Phillips heads and uh, adjust it and I lubricated the chain, did the brakes, all that easy stuff. And the exhaust, it's a custom exhaust, it was rusted to shit, so I pulled her off and gave her some grill paint. And yeah, it's pretty good now. So, um, what else? It's got really nice tires onto it. I just did the steering head bearing too. And the bars are uh, non on standard too. It's missing the uh, brake lever, but it does run and ride very well, and uh, it's in fairly nice shape considering it's, you know, nearly 40 years old. These Hondas, you know, they just go forever. So yeah, I'll get my uh, camera mount out and we'll uh, start her up. Doesn't want to idle quite yet, but yeah, that's the uh, 1974 Honda XR75. These bikes are getting pretty rare, and I'm um, glad I could find one. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching.